So welcome back you guys, episode 11 of the bulking series. I hope you guys are having a great day. Go ahead and like the video before we get into this one. Down there, see it? Click it. Unfortunately, it is that time of year again and I gotta wear a jacket to go to the grocery store now. One of those subtle little seasonal changes that when you really focus on it, just depressing. Like I love the summer. Winter is great too, but I just, I really prefer when you got a sunny day almost every day. So I need some groceries, just a couple small items. So I'm gonna head to the local grocery store, just a five minute walk from my house and uh, pick some stuff up. Hope you guys are ready for a banger video today. We're gonna be going to the gym later. I'm gonna take you guys through a full workout. So it's gonna be a solid, solid day. Let's go. They don't have zero caffeine. That's annoying. Okay. Maybe I'm just being negative here, but one of the most annoying things on the planet is when you go to the grocery store and they don't have anything you're looking for. They don't have the right frozen fruit I was looking for. They didn't have no caffeine Coke Zero. Everything was just like not there. So annoying. So now that we're stocked up with groceries, it's time to get ready for the gym. It's Saturday, so gym's closing at nine today. I got like an hour and a half to train, so we gotta get ready. I go with some Young LA joggers, Young LA stringer. And we are ready to go to the gym. Guys, if you ever wanna grab anything from Young LA, all the gym clothes that I wear in my videos, code Lee, make sure you use that. That'll save you 15% off as well. Enjoy. Pre-workout nasal spray because I have horrible allergies. Oh. Oh. Last thing I'm gonna do before we head out is take a little bit of pre-workout. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna do some beta alanine. Gorilla makes this raw beta alanine powder. I'll show you guys. You can literally just buy like a straight up tub of this stuff. So you can dose your pre-workout to your liking. Beta alanine is what gives you that tingly feeling under your skin. Some people don't like it and they, th they say it feels like fire ants, but I actually really like it because it makes me like super eager to just keep moving. Otherwise the tingles just take over. Also gonna do one scoop Gorilla Mode Nitric. Cheers. It's a cold, rainy evening. The city needs me, AKA Gotham. It's time to turn into Batman and get to the gym. You know, one of the best feelings I think is like a Friday night or in my case, a Saturday night, a Saturday night lift because when you're there, especially later, almost no one is in that gym. It's literally just you alone with your thoughts and the weights and you don't have any distractions, nothing that's gonna take you away from your session. And it's like an excellent opportunity to like tap in to what's really driving you to be in that gym. Cause you're not there with your friends. You're not there with your buddies. It's just you and your purpose. So with that being said, I'm gonna get super super dialed in for this session today and train absolutely insane. I'm gonna be training upper body, probably just a mixture of everything. Yeah, it's growing season, winter is here. I'll see you guys in there. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the gym, but my gym actually just got all new equipment. So we got some new equipment, huh? We did indeed. What do you think about everything? It's good, it's good shit. Um... Obviously we got the new chest press. Finally got a pack fly and a rear dial fly and it was heavily needed. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm tripping, right? Like if you, I don't know if you guys will actually like recognize from the gym, but I train here every day. So this is exciting. All right guys, I'm excited. Let's get started. Starting the workout off today with shoulders. As I said in my last video, shoulders are a big weak point for me. And so in order to prioritize them and bring them up as a muscle group, I'm doing them first in my workout. So I'm the freshest, I have the most energy and I can devote the most amount of energy for my shoulders. I was doing a lot of machine presses for the shoulders recently, but I find that with dumbbells, they just, I get a better contraction and overall they like feel better. Okay, 
Shoulders are done. The three sets, those felt really good. Now, moving on to some back. Only the real ones know that this is a new lat pull down machine. The last one in this gym was super sticky. It would get stuck. So the fact that there's like a brand new, fresh oiled piece of equipment is just. That feels totally different. So if you guys understand with a little bit of physics, when you do a lat pull down, it should be equally difficult throughout the whole movement. But on the last machine, it would be progressively harder the further you bring the bar down. So it would really be hard to like get that burning stretch contraction when you're fully flexed at the bottom position of a pull down. And I couldn't do that on the other machine. So the fact that I can do that with this new one, that's gonna change my back training entirely because there was only the one lat pull down in here. It was either that or pull up. So I am super stoked about that. All right guys, so we got a new cable machine and I'm just gonna go a little bit off program today, have some fun, just try out the new machines. I mean, I'm super excited. I feel like a kid on Christmas right now, so I'm gonna do some chest flies. The chest flies feel absolutely phenomenal. Not the best exercise, like out of all the chest exercises in the book to actually grow, but just to have a little bit of fun and work on like the detail, the striations in your pecs, it is sometimes okay to do. Now another lagging muscle group that I have is my triceps. For those of you guys who don't know, the triceps actually make up about 65% of the size in your arm. So if you wanna have bigger arms, getting bigger triceps is definitely number one on the list of importance. So let's do some triceps. Now, in terms of the exercises you guys should select when trying to grow your arms, this is my go-to tip. Pick two movements that target the biceps and two movements that target the triceps, one compound exercise and one isolation exercise for each, and just focus on getting stronger at those four movements. I promise you there is no added benefit of doing like six arm exercises in one workout. Just focus on progressively overloading your strength into two movements for each muscle. For example, to grow my triceps, I usually do dips for my compound exercise and then rope pushdowns or straight bar pushdowns for my isolation exercise.
So next up, I'm gonna get cooking on some side raises. These are absolutely key. I do these sometimes even three to four times a week just to build up that width. And having an aesthetic physique is really important to me. So a small waist, broad shoulders. These are key to giving you that literal Dorito V taper X frame. So time for some side raises. On my side raises, I'll even go beyond failure on like a couple of my sets and I'll just do partials. So even if I can't get that dumbbell to the top of the range of motion, I'll just do 50%, 30%, 10% until I literally cannot lift my arms up. Like that is how your shoulders are just gonna blow up and make, you're just gonna make them look like three dimensional striations, lines, that's what you wanna do. Five minutes later. Yo, I don't know what the hell just happened back there. That was one of the craziest pumps I've ever had in my entire life. That session was phenomenal. One of the best workouts I've had in a minute, not to mention the pump. Boys, Gorilla Mode Nitric is no joke. <laughs> Codely, link in description. But yeah, on that note, I'm starving. That was like a one and a half hour session. It's time to get home and refuel. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cooking up because we are bulking. It's time to get huge. So let's go, see you guys there. All right, y'all, so we're back from the gym. Now, if you guys don't have one of these, this is a food scale. I highly, highly recommend you invest. You can get one for literally $15 on Amazon, or if you go to a local store, they'll probably sell these, like an appliance store. You can actually weigh all of your food in ounces, grams, whatever you wanna do. This is the most accurate way to track your calories. If you guys aren't actually tracking your food, but you're on a bulk, you're just, you're not gonna be maximizing gains, so. Get one of these. Now with that food scale, I just weighed out 260 grams of basmati rice. And what I do with this is I'll just throw this in a pot and rinse the rice until all that starch comes off and the water runs clear. All right guys, so now we got our clean rice. This is all washed, ready to go. I'm gonna take this really high quality sea salt, which has trace minerals in it. It's not just like iodized table salt. And I'm gonna do a really good, solid, like little heap of that in my hand. I'll try to get that to focus. I'm gonna throw that in to the rice. All right, I got some boiling water here. I'm gonna measure out 520 grams. That's double the weight of the rice that I'm cooking with. And I'm gonna cook that on medium heat, keeping this off until a lot of the water kind of boils off. And then once most of the rice has sucked up that water, I'm gonna take this and completely cover it, take it off the heat and just let the steam finish cooking the rice for like 15 minutes. All right guys, so we have prepared the rice and the beef. I'm gonna take half of the rice. I'm literally just gonna like draw a line down the center. Then the secret ingredient, maple syrup. And I have no hot sauce, so mustard. Guys, I know that seems like a weird combo, but trust me, just trust me, you mix it all together, trust. And there you guys go, a thousand calories in that bowl, absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. 
One day you guys will be able to use Code Lee at checkout for Coca-Cola. I'm gonna get sponsored, just wait on it, all right? Wait on it. Also, while we're on the subject of diet soda, anyone who tells you that diet soda is worse for you than normal soda or that it really screws up your gut microbiome, a lot of that is just not necessarily true. If you have like a couple of glasses of diet soda a day, it's really not gonna do any harm and it can actually be super beneficial because it can curb those sugar cravings while you're focusing on eating your primary food in your diet, so I really, really think it's a useful tool. Damn, I just finished uh, Better Call Saul. That was six seasons. I don't even know what to think right now. My, my, my mind is just like, what do I do? I feel empty. So it has only been like two and a half hours. Let me check. Eh, it's been three hours since I had that last meal. One of the benefits of eating white rice as your primary source of carbohydrates, it just makes you feel really hungry like every two to three hours. Like normally when I eat stuff like pasta, it really like bloats you and it bogs down your digestion. But when I eat beef and rice, two hours after I'm done eating, I'm ready to go to that next meal. So let's head to the kitchen. I'm gonna do one more meal and then I'll be done for the day. I just kiss raw pork. A lot of you guys will have seen me make these before, but in short, these are basically just like 800 calories. You're getting 100 calories per sausage. When you fry these up in their own fat, they get really crispy and delicious. So I'm literally just gonna make these, no carbs, no nothing, just a little thing of protein. Also you guys, this is crazy to say, I'm gonna put up a picture. Something like half of you who watch my videos are just not subscribed. Guys, I post every single week. Make sure you guys are not missing out on the videos and the content. Go hit that subscribe button, join the team, let's go. really important if you guys are bulking to kind of have you know like a trick up your sleeve on a day where your calories were a little bit behind for me these sausages like they're a cheat code you know like I can just take a pack out of the fridge throw them in the pan and spike up my calories really quickly if I'm in a pinch it doesn't really matter what food it is but as long as you guys have something like ready to go on hand in your house so that you don't actually like fall behind on your bulking calories for the day that's all that really matters you guys think the bulk is starting to pay off Hard to tell. Oh God. Guys, this is a tragedy. I put my freaking Coke Zero two liter in the freezer because I ran out of ice and the damn thing froze. <laughs> and now I can't have Coke Zero with this freaking meal. I'm trying to like defrost it in hot water. Come on little buddy, we need to get you back to life, come on. Now these sausages are like insanely good, but they're like dumb greasy, just stupid greasy. So I have to like put a paper towel in the plate I eat them out of just to drain the grease. Watch this. And now we're good, clean sausages. I ran out of normal sriracha, so I have to get this like off brand one, but I feel like it should get the job done, right? Oh yeah, that'll get it done. Okay, there's just, has entered my kitchen because I have the back door open. I'm gonna get it. We got it. Bro, I don't know where the frick it went. Nice, I'm just gonna have to move out now because I'm not freaking living here with that. That thing was like literally four inches long, bro. You know what guys, fun fact, I read a study, but flossing, the point I'm making is flossing, they found out that people who flossed had a lower risk of death than people who did not. I don't know what it is, but something about the bacteria in your mouth. So if you guys aren't flossing, 
you know? Alrighty guys, that is the end of the day for the bulk. We're starting to get pretty big in terms of the YouTube channel, guys. We're almost at 12K now here, so really appreciate all the support thus far. Stay tuned for the next video, you guys. Keep using code Lee at YoungLA and Gorilla Mind Checkout to support me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.